question comes today from Mr. Steve Huffman. It says, hey Travis, me and a friend of mine was shooting our bows and his arm which, which he holds his bow with was bent a little at the elbow. I thought maybe his draw was too short. Then I saw David Blanton say, when you set his bow up, his arm was slightly bent. When I shoot my, my bow, my arm is completely straight. Am I wrong? Should I shorten the draw or leave it alone? It seems to work for me all these years. Thanks, Steve. Steve, um, well, maybe have that checked out. You know, actually, you know, I would need to see you to tell you, yes, do you need your uh, bow shortened or not, but go to a reputable pro shop, have the guy, you know, the pro look at you and recommend if you need to be shortened or not and either get uh, measured. But um, I'll, I'll try to uh, explain a little bit why you want a bent arm. I'll, I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw the bow and shoot it and kind of show you the position that we're talking about. It's really not like a, an exaggerated bend. It's just a slight down and out bend. I'll show you what we're talking about right here. If I don't blow the camera off the tripod. So when you, you know, when you come to full draw, naturally you're going to have your arm straight. But when you, when you lock in, you just want your arm just slightly bent, just a down and out bend. And some people actually do exaggerate it, and, and that's not really w what you're looking for. You just want a slight down and out bend. And what that does is um, does a couple of things. It acts kind of like a shock absorber. One, if you've got a straight arm, if you have your arm completely straight and locked, that's an unnatural position for your arm. Imagine that you know when you walk around from day to day, when you're walking around, and, and your arms are in a natural position, they're actually slightly bent. You don't walk around with stiff arm because you're hyperextending your elbow. So you want a, a slight bend so that it's a little bit of a shock absorber, and it's in a natural position so that whenever you're twisting and turning, you can maintain that draw length. Because if you're overextended. Um, you, it's hard to be consistent that way and then also you're actually forcing the meaty part of your arm into the path of the string so it's another good reason to have a slight bend in your arm and it's just the biggest thing is it's a natural position you're not using ligaments and tendons and muscles that you don't really need to use to hold the bow back so check that out and make sure that the bend of your elbow is like your hand was on your chest and open it up so many people want to lock it or if they're double jointed they double joint and their their elbow comes to the inside so Hopefully that uh, helps you out a little bit. But yeah, take and uh, go to your local pro shop, have them take a look at you, measure your draw length, and see where you're at. And then if you need to correct it, you can.